Fact or myth, are styes contagious? If you're interested in finding out the answer to that question, keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa, board certified ophthalmologist, and today we're gonna to be addressing the question, are styes contagious? You probably heard your mom say at some point growing up, don't swim in that public pool, you're gonna get a sty, or don't go over to that kid's house, they've got a sty. Well, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, this is a myth. Styes are not contagious. So if you wanna stop watching, you can stop watching now. But if you wanna find out a little bit more about styes, then I hope you continue with me on this journey. All right, first, what is a sty? A sty is also called a hordeolum. It's a red, painful bump that can grow at the base of your lashes or even underneath your eyelid. Most of the time they're caused by a bacterial infection and they can be internal or external. Is that too much anatomy for you? I think it's so interesting, so it's all right. You can just look at the pictures if you want. So the external ones grow from the base of your eyelashes. It might look like a pimple and it's affecting particular glands called the glands of Zeiss and the glands of Moll. And the internal ones are the ones that you have to kind of flip up there inside your eyelid and they affect the oil producing glands or meibomian glands of your eyelid. So those are the two different types of styes and they can be characterized as a bacterial infection. So what does it feel like to have a sty? You might feel some crusting or discharge, it might be really tender or painful, it might have some tearing or even light sensitivity, burning, swelling, or drooping of the eyelid. Those are all things that come with having a sty, but they're not contagious. So you can't threaten your little brother or your little sister or anybody else with getting a sty just because you have one. It's not the same thing. Typically they're caused by inflammation of your eyelids called blepharitis. Sometimes touching or rubbing your eyes can make you prone to them. Some people just have a history of them. Using contaminated makeup can be an issue, not removing your makeup at night. And I've even seen some kids in my practice that get styes just as a result of eating particular types of foods. And once they eliminated that food from their diet, then they didn't get styes anymore. So there are a lot of different treatments for styes, and most of them are focused on getting rid of the oil that's all blocked up. Basically think of it like a pimple. So the mainstay is hot compresses. You can do it with a rice sock, where you take a clean, I have to say clean sock, put a cup of rice in it, throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds and apply it to the eyelid. You can do it with one of those um, eye masks that you put in the microwave. You can do it with a washcloth and hot water, however you wanna do your hot compress. That's just gonna get the heat into those oil glands and get the oil so it's not so thick and cheese-like and make it more consistent like canola oil or vegetable oil. Sometimes we treat these styes with topical, so eye drops that are antibiotic eye drops and a combination with some steroid. And sometimes we do use an oral antibiotic because sometimes it is an infection. But that being said, it is not contagious the way that a conjunctivitis or a pink eye, like a bacterial or viral conjunctivitis is. You can't transmit the sty to someone else by rubbing and then touching. So, so don't worry about styes being contagious. They are not. So you can tell your mom and your grandma that if you need, but if you have a sty, just make sure that you get it treated early. Don't pop it. Hot compresses, see your eye doctor for eye drops and possibly an oral antibiotic. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful, short and sweet, but needed to address this common eye myth and busted it right open. If you have any eye myths you want me to talk about, drop them in the comments below. Happy to read, and that way I know what type of content to produce for you guys. All right, until next time, I will see you soon. I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye.